by the mid-third millennia before Christ, the first signs of civilization began appearing in the Middle East. Settlements gradually grew into cities, paving the road for the rise of the Egyptian and Mesopotamian kingdoms and city-states. During the same time, a similar process was occurring thousands of miles to the north. Centered around the Prut River in modern Romania, the so-called Cucuteni Tripilia culture had grown to cover an area of 3,000 square kilometers. Unlike the communities of the Fertile Crescent, the members of this culture were almost exclusively farmers. Here in the river valleys of temperate Eastern Europe, the Cucuteni people sustained themselves with agriculture, animal husbandry, and occasionally with hunting. Labor division is still absent, while social hierarchies are relatively egalitarian. Despite that, the Cucuteni culture is remarkably complex for its time. By the mid-third millennium BC, the people of this area had established some of the largest settlements in the world. Their biggest towns spanned hundreds of acres, with some boasting an estimated inhabitants of up to 30,000. These massive settlements were built along large oval rings oriented towards a central plaza. They consisted of thousands of wooden houses and structures that were remarkably large for the time. These dwellings were surprisingly similar in size, a testament to the low levels of social stratification. Much like social inequality, warfare also seems to have been a rarity in the lands of the Cucuteni people. This peaceful and tranquil way of existence inspired the creative instinct of the locals. Small figurines shaped to resemble a female body have been uncovered all over the area. Some believe these female totems to be a representation of the chief deity worshipped by the Cucuteni people a female fertility goddess. The people of these communities enjoyed a relatively egalitarian and peaceful existence. Yet this changed with remarkable speed and efficiency. The steppes of Eastern Europe, 3000 BC. Just to the east of the Cucuteni lies the Yamnaya culture, tall, strong and warlike. The appearance and life of the nomadic peoples of the Eurasian plain contrast starkly with the ones of their western neighbors. In the unforgiving lands of the steppe, agriculture is a rarity, while armed clashes and raids are an often occurrence. In these lands, waging war is an act of devotion to one's clan. Here, war is a state of nature, a harsh reality ordered by the almighty Sky Father, the central deity of the Yamnaya. As opposed to the female fertility goddess of the Cucuteni people, the Sky Father is a symbol of ferociousness and a strict patriarchal order. The top dogs of the Amnaya, a caste of warrior men, live to raid and raid to live. Their communities are far from egalitarian. The Yamna society is divided according to a strict hierarchy. At the top of the social ladder sits the warrior class, an estate of ambitious men hungry for military prowess and plunder. Despite that, war is far from being the only occupation of the Yamnaya. The locals live a life of pastoralism, traveling around the plains of the steppe with their animal herds throughout the better part of the year, and withdrawing to winter in fortified settlements along the river valleys. Trade is also an essential part of Yamnaya culture. The inhabitants of the steppe trade with each other as well as with their foreign sedentary neighbors, including the Cucuteni. Yet as the third millennium before Christ neared its end, the relationship between the two cultures was about to get sour. Thankfully for the people of prehistoric Europe, the Yamna warriors did not possess the ships offered by today's sponsor. World of Warships is a PvP game of ship-to-ship -ship battles that will no doubt be fun to play for any history nerd. The game is completely free to play on PC and has a wide variety of over 400 different vessels. The Epic 12 vs 12 engagements offer endless tactical choices and ship loadouts, which you can play alone or in a division with your friends, on more than 40 unique maps. Regular monthly updates keep adding more depth and fun into the game. 
All this, by the way, is also available on consoles. The game is absolutely free, so there's no reason not to enjoy the amazing graphics and naval PvP. This month only you can go to battle as the Kurato Head or Dave Mustaine, the legendary lead of the band Megadeth. Click the link in the description and pinned comments to get World of Warships. This month is World of Warships 8th birthday and because of that the game has a special present for its new players. By using the promo code Megadeth you will receive a huge starter pack, including 200 doubloons, 500,000 credits, 7 days premium account time, the Kurato Head as a commander and a ship. 3200 BC. The climate of Earth is drier and colder than it has ever been since the Ice Age. This severe climate change is devastating to the farming cultures of Europe. While the Kukutani culture enters a steep decline, its nomadic Yamnaya neighbors fare a lot better. Having begun their gradual spread from the Volga River around 4000 BC, by 3000 BC, these pastoralist nomads had reached the southern Bug River, encroaching ever closer to the lands of the sedentary Tripilia culture. Approximately 5,000 years ago, the Kukutani culture collapsed. Its massive towns drastically plummeted in size, and its people either fled, were assimilated, or outright slaughtered. The relatively peaceful locals proved unfit for the new climate and cultural changes. Yet their more resilient eastern neighbors endured and even thrived. Wielding stone axes and copper daggers, raiding bands of Yamna men swept through the land of the Kukutani. The local grandiose settlements were either razed or abandoned. Many locals submitted to the newcomers, interacting and eventually assimilating into their culture. These natives would also adopt the language of the Yamnaya a tongue modern linguists called Proto-Indo-European. The dawn of a new era had begun, the era of the Indo-Europeans. The migration of the Yamnaya into the land of the Kukutani culture was only the beginning. At the turn of the second millennium BC, the Indo-Europeans entered Central Europe, giving rise to several new European cultures. Around the early 2000s BC, descendants of the Yamnaya formed the Corded Ware culture, which was centered around modern Germany and southern Scandinavia. From there, the Indo-Europeans continued spreading and diverging into many different cultures, outcompeting and assimilating the native inhabitants of the regions they came to occupy. During the late 2000s BC, the spread of the Yamnaya was exacerbated, a process that was likely caused by technological innovation, particularly in the realm of warfare. The excellent horse breeders of the Indo-European Sintashta culture are credited with the invention of the chariot and possibly even mounted warfare. During the following 1000 years, these people gradually spread southwards. Around 1000 BC, descendants of this culture conquered northern India and Iran, subsequently giving rise to the Persian Empire and the civilizations of northern India. Thousands of miles to the northwest, their distant relatives in Europe found similar success. The Indo-European Bell Beaker culture, likely a descendant or a contemporary of the Corded Ware, spread all over Western Europe. Exceeding in river navigation, the Bell Beakers established trade routes all over the old continent, trading goods far and wide. Around 2000 BCE, the Bell Beakers crossed the English Channel and entered Britain. In a short period of time, these Indo-European newcomers had occupied the whole island. The descendants of the Bell Beaker and Corded Ware cultures would eventually give rise to the Italic, Celtic, Germanic, Baltic, Slavic, and ancient Greek peoples, the ancestors of nearly all ethno-linguistic groups of modern Europe. The spread of the Indo-European people is a process that remains unparalleled to this day. In 4000 BC, the Amnaya pastoralists occupied a small section of land around the Volga River. 3,000 years later, their descendants occupied a land area spreading from modern Portugal to modern India. 